So today we're going to take a look at how to change the pictures in the background of your website. So if you're in KV Core, in the top right, click on your name, go three down, click on the world, that's your website. And as you see, when you load up, if it loads, waiting for a second here, it's going to give it different pictures set up. Some of these are stock pictures that come with KV Core. And then if you hit refresh, we're going to show where you can change and add your own pictures in KV Core. There we go. Just showing you some different options. Some of these are the stock ones. Um, this one is a stock one. I'll show you some non-stock. Hopefully it'll come through here. This is a non-stock. So you can use this to start to brand yourself. I was in the military, so there's some military pictures in there. So start thinking to yourself, what sets you apart? I grew up in Maine. We had a river by our house. That's kind of one of the things there that I like to put in there to kind of show. You want people to be able to go to your website see some of the pictures and ask you questions and say, okay, in Maine, we had a lot of lighthouses. They might ask, why do you have lighthouses on your website? Why do you have that there? This is a way to start to brand yourself, to pick different pictures and to start conversations. Like I grew up, you know, country, I'm in Texas now. This beautiful is like a Texas good hill country scenery here. So you can think this. And also if you have, I like to fish. So if you have any fishing hobbies, anything you do, that would set you apart from other people or show you're different. That's how you can want to go here and pull this up and then you can show different pictures. Okay, so the way you get pictures is you go here to Web and IDX, you click on that, none of the drop downs, just Web and IDX. And here where it has your name, to the right it says Edit Settings. You click on Edit Settings and then you scroll down, you'll see a bunch of pictures. Go past that where it says Upload Your Own Image. Okay. And then to upload your image, that's where you would drop it in. So to find the image, I like to use the website Unsplash. You can see right here. The reason I use Unsplash is because these pictures, like you can see the internet source for visuals, they're available for free for everything you wanna use. These don't cost anything if you pick the right pictures and we already have permission to use them for whatever we want. So let's say I wanted to, I mean, I live in Texas and San Antonio. Let's say I wanted some Texas wildlife. I'm a biologist, so I like to have that in there, some wildlife. So the first pictures here are paid. If you scroll down past that, you see the free pictures. So any one of these that I saw that I thought would be cool and I liked, in the bottom right, you see how it has a down arrow. I could click on that down arrow, and it would download it. And then I would just have to know where I downloaded it to. And the other thing, once I download, I put in my downloads, as you can see, I'm going to save that. You can also say thank you to the artist for letting you put their user picture. So I'm going to say thank you here on my Facebook and say thank you for letting me use your picture. That was really nice of you because they didn't have to and they did that. And by doing that, it lets you connect with them also. And I'm just going to send like, you know, thanks for the picture. And because I want my KV Core course, other posts, other videos go over how to connect your Facebook for your KV Core because I have those in there and it's all set. Now you can see it automatically vanished I'm here now. I like the owl picture too. I'm gonna to throw that one in there. And I'm gonna grab that and then I can thank them. Now, if someone searches for pictures by James Lee, once I go put these on my website, like I'm gonna do right now, they can now find my website looking at these pictures. And this is a way you can start to brand yourself, okay? So if you're into, like I had one guy helped, he was into motorcycles. So if you're into motorcycles, search motorcycles. And then again, skip past those first two. And you could pick motorcycle pictures and you could put those in the background of your website. If you're into scuba diving, horseback riding, anything that sets you apart, you want to be able to show some of your personality in there. Okay. So once you have a couple pictures picked, again, we're in our KV core. We went to web and IDX. We went here next to our name. We went to edit settings and we scroll down under the pictures to where it says upload your own image. So you either click it. I'm just going to drag and drop my picture in there. So here's the one with the owl. If I don't like the way that's sitting, I can click this edit button here in the middle. And then when I edit it, I can change it around a little bit. I'll make it right there. And then I hit confirm and then you can see it changes it to fit that. Now, if I hate this picture, I can hit delete and it'll be gone. If I like it, I can hit the up arrow and then boom, this automatically, you can see it'll throw it right up above it in my pictures right in here. And then I just hit save. Now I had another picture, so I'm gonna click here. This was in my downloads file. It was my other one here. I'm going to grab this picture here in my downloads. It loads up this Texas cactus. 
I want to change this a little bit of the background, maybe a little more cactus like that, a little more flower. And then once I get it the way I like it, I just hit up arrow. And again, it's going to take it, throw it up. Now, if you scroll a little bit higher, you want to hit save. So it saves it. And you can see I have a lot of pictures in here, a bunch of stock pictures and a bunch, bunch that I've loaded up myself. So you're welcome to go through and load up as many as you want. You can do about 20 a day. Then you have to wait and come back. And you see there's a lot of these stock pictures that KB Core gives me that I don't use because I don't want to use these on my website. I like to brand more of my own personal self. So this is how you can brand yourself. This one's not a great one, so I'm going to check that one. This is how you can kind of brand yourself and stand out a little bit and be separate than other people to kind of show where you, who you are and what you kind of background. So you want people to go to your website and when they go to your website, for example, here on my website, when I hit refresh, it's gonna change the picture. Hopefully it'll be a good one. I want them to have questions like, why do you have, you know, this beautiful sunrise on your website? That's a great picture, where'd it come from? Or, you know, what's this? You know, being a biologist, I could talk about that. I'm in Texas, I like to, you know, study animals and plants. And we could have a conversation so it helped convert the client to my, you know, to me, and also my right here soldier scientist. That would be another um, conversation piece. So this is a way to have a conversation so you can build relationship of trust with your client before you even ever talk to them about real estate. It's a very powerful tool. Um, reach out to me if you have any questions. I'll have my link at the bottom. Also, I'll have my link that we can set up your KV Core queue and set you up. And I'll talk to you soon.